Welcome to Tech News and Opinions brought to you by JoeBob2311. This story is from The Verge. The SD card, whether it be micro or mini SD, has found a use in many daily lives whether it be professional or leisurely. There's likely a mini SD in your camera and a micro SD in your phone, unless that phone is an iPhone. Well guess what? Today, Samsung has abolished the micro SD card standard in a way. They're not dead. But there's a new standard called UFS which stands for Universal Flash Storage which threatens to blow microSD out of the water for both speed and storage sizes. For storage, Samsung begins the base model at 32GB, Apple, take note, then proceeds to 64, 128 and then a whopping kingpin of 256GB. I remember when my hard drive was less than 256GB. On the side of speed, the UFS cards have sequential read speeds of up to 530MB per second which is 5 times faster than the best micro SD cards. And usually, any random person you go to out there aren't gonna have the best micro SD cards. This means that reading a 5 gigabyte movie completely can take roughly 10 seconds. A UHS-1 micro SD card, which is an older standard, took up to 50 seconds to do this. The write speeds are also significantly improved for all you 4K videographers out there. Rates reach as high as 170 megabytes per second, which nearly doubles the performance of the fastest micro SDs such as the SanDisk Extreme Pro card. However, this write speed is 7 to 8 times faster than cards recommended to non-professionals like you. Yeah, you out there. Wait, you're a professional? Then not you out there. This UFS standard has already appeared as embedded memory in devices such as the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. The S7 was not mentioned in this article and I have not been able to confirm whether the S7 has it, but I'd give an educated guess that the S7 has this storage as well. From the photo on screen now, you can see the design looks similar to older microSD cards, but the pink configuration at the back is not the same and therefore incompatible on all devices at the moment. The physical design you can see is also slightly different. So for my opinion, this is a good futuristic evolution for Samsung and for now, we just wait to see when devices support these little monsters for storage. Likely Samsung is gonna be the first to support them, so let's look out for the next generation Galaxy S8. And while I did say earlier that they are gonna kill micro SD cards, they're likely not gonna kill micro SD cards. Because if you heard the size and speed, it's definitely coming at a price. So we know for sure micro SD is gonna stay for quite a while until they find some sort of middle ground for non-professional users. Thank you for watching this tech news and opinions video brought to you by JoeBob2311. Follow my Twitter if you'd like to get more news, smaller stories, follow-ups to stories, or if you just like cool tweets. Expect more tech news and opinions as they come.